What's up beautiful people? So I just wanted to make a quick video about the EOS R by Canon and is it still good in 2021? Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe, share, show some love. So I wanted to talk about the EOS R um, a little bit, quick video, because I've noticed a lot of people has been bashing it since the R6 and the R5 has come out. Now, here's the thing guys, I always feel that the camera is as good as the person who uses the camera. The camera is very, very capable. You know, not because the R6 and the R5 is out, now the camera needs to be slammed to the ground. I've been using the R now for almost two years and I've not had any problems at all with it. I get that some client has certain requests, then that's when this camera has some limitations. But until that time, the camera is fine. I'm a UK fashion and wedding photographer. I've used this camera for both fashion shoots, videos, weddings, and I've not had no problems problem whatsoever with it none clients has been blown away by the image come out this guy and the video that i can produce from this camera is just amazing for what i need it for i'm a hybrid shooter i don't have big client that requires 8k or 6k i'm going to show you some of the pictures that i've taken with this camera throughout the years that i've had it just a few snaps just to show you that your equipment is just as good as you the photographer or you the creator let's stop blaming the cameras so i'm about to show you a video that i did while in lockdown with the same eos r which left the client very very happy with the product let's have a look Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. As you can see, the video is crisp, straight out of the R. I now own the Ninja V, which obviously aid video qualities from cameras. But when I filmed this, I didn't have Ninja V. This is straight from the camera in Canon Z-Log, graded by me, sent to the client, and the client's very, very happy. Now here's a few pictures I've taken over the years of owning this camera and images that's left clients blown away. I am aware that certain clients has preferences, but my clients are very happy with the work that I have. So on that note, I'm gonna finish by saying the EOS R is an amazing camera. And just because the R6 and the R5 offers full 4K and 8K and all of those stuff, the R works for me. On until I have clients that require the limitations that this camera has, I think I'm gonna keep working with it until that time. And even then, I might just rent a camera for the time needed because I might not have enough client that need that for me to go out and spend so much money on these new cameras. I'm just gonna use what I have now until I built that client base that requires things that the camera has limitations, which is very, very little. It's got a ridiculously crop 4K. So what? You get the appropriate lens and it works just as fine. So you as the creator has to use your tool to the fullest to deliver the goods. So please guys, leave the EOS R alone and just learn to use the tool that you have. On that note, peace. Until next time, I'm out.